um, being genuine and being authentic and being real to who you are. It may come with a particular cost when you feel like people love you, when you feel like people want to be there for you. It's hard to make that transition into being who you truly are. Today is my birthday. And today is the day where I came out and I told my family, you know, I kind of like Trump, like, <laughs> I know, right? I might be Republican. The Negroes I might having it. disagree with people who loot and riot stores and, and and kill black people in the name of Black Lives Matter and Well My family didn't like that too much. My family didn't like that I spoke common sense. That looting and rioting will make no difference in the case of George Floyd. You know? And so, I've come to the conclusion that my family loves politics more than they love me. I was told not to ever speak to my family again. All because I had a different perspective. All because I had a different opinion. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I know. They found a letter from quote unquote Trump in the mail and they wanted to bring it up. They wanted to bring up, oh why why don't you believe in Black Lives Matter? I said it's because I believe in building. I don't believe in destroying I don't believe that destroying black businesses is gonna do anything. Boy, they, they were ready to beat him up. I don't believe that you should follow this type of cause. I believe that we have the power to be anything. I guess this is the sacrifice of being authentic. This is the sacrifice of being real. I knew people wouldn't like the real me for me, but I never thought that it would be my own flesh and blood. Just because someone thinks something different should not make them the enemy. You know what? If they don't want me in their lives. I guess they were never really my family. Nope. So. I'm gonna walk this road alone. On my birthday. And Father's Day. I'm gonna continue to progress despite that. Because I love myself. I see myself as a winner. 
I don't see myself as a victim. And I'm not gonna change for anybody. Family, I, I love you. But I don't know if I could love you if you love your politics more than you love me. And the thing is, I know exactly what you're going through. You know, once you wake up, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. You really wake up. You can't go back. And the people that are around you who still have Satan's mentality, they will hate you for it. Especially if you're in the black community, if you're in the you know black and brown community. Hispanics know what I'm talking about. When they start rising above the ghetto Hispanic trash, right? Hispanic guys hit me up all the time. They say, everything you're talking about, us Hispanics go through it too. I know. And I said, I know, right? The ghetto trash is running around. And if you say anything, all of a sudden you're white. And imagine, ladies and gentlemen, this is what, a lot of black Americans are going through. A lot of people of color, a lot of white people are going through this. That if you have a, just merely a difference of an opinion, they don't want to talk to you at all. And this comes from the left. They don't want to have a meaningful discussion. Facts don't matter to the left. And I want folks to understand this. It just doesn't. And this young man should not feel ashamed. He shouldn't feel bad. You didn't lose anything. Except for some bums that probably needed to get out of your space. Blocking you from your blessings. Just because, ladies and gentlemen, you growing up in a family, right? And they are related to your by blood doesn't make them family. And I want you guys to understand this. Your family is God's family. That's why I tell people to get out of color, get out of the flesh. God's family is all around. God's family are the folks who recognize what good is. What the, they know what evil is, right? We are God's family. We're all different colors. And we all been ostracized because of our view. And I want people to understand this. The liberals ostracize us because, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have the same type of worldview they do. Liberals' worldview ladies and gentlemen, is a satanic worldview. And I want you to understand this. That's why they're into color, right? Be in the world, but not of the world. And let me tell you something. That is something that most liberals have missed. They're, they are, ladies and gentlemen, of the world. And when you're of the world, you believe in color, right? You don't believe in spirit or none of that crap, right? You don't believe in God. You don't believe none of that. You believe in color. You believe in physicality. And when you have that type of thought process, that type of mind frame, right? That type of mentality. That brings a whole host of these type of problems. But if you are, ladies and gentlemen, of the spirit, these problems don't enter your brain, right? It, it just it just doesn't because you won't have the avenue to think in that type of manner. God's children, ladies and gentlemen, are in every color, just like Satan's children are in every color. And we need to, ladies and gentlemen, recognize this that's why 
on my show, you hear me say this all the time. We commune by logic, not by color. Satan's folks, Satan's creatures, Satan's children that he loves so much. They commune by color. They commune by hate. And we need to recognize it and we need to point it out. 